What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Hidden Fates opening. We've been opening a lot of tins, and while we do have a couple Gyarados tins to open, uh, we're also going to be opening the product with the by far the best promo in my opinion. That is the Stained Glass Birds. I, I'm a huge fan of that uh, that promo. You know, the Super Premium box had three, uh, and two of them were gold and a shiny Rayquaza. So that, I guess as far as promos go, that product had the best promos all together but if we had to pick one promo that is top for me that is definitely the birds and it comes with a lot of cool stuff you got the sleeves um, and the box as well for storage so we have 18 packs this time there are two non gx shinies that we need a nine gx shinies we need and a handful of supporters and gold cards master set can we get one step closer today let's find out all right, we are good to go. We got a Gyarados, and there they are, the stained glass birds. Such a unique promo, and uh, to be honest, I hope they don't try to redo this concept, the stained glass concept, for a while. Um, you know, I don't want it to dilute. You know how amazing that artwork is. Here is some code cards, and then we have 18 packs. It's a new number. Here we go, 10, four, and four. We're starting off, on, I believe these are the tin, or the no, the ETB packs that we're starting off with. Let's see how we can do. Two non-shiny GX, nine shiny GX, and I think maybe four, or no, I think six. Two gold cards. Uh, two supporters and two, uh, let's see, what was it, stadiums. Looking for in total, still a lot of cards. And uh, that kind of goes to show like how extremely difficult it is to pull a master set. I guess it doesn't help that I traded some of the stuff away. And foil energy to start. Not a great start. We'll see if our little Chocobo friend I did just get a phone call, but yeah, we're hoping our little Chuckabo friend, super cute, will bring us some good luck. I love uh, putting the plushes in the in the shot, but I don't know the setup is not ideal for it, so it's kind of cramped in front of the camera. Not gonna lie. Let's do this real quick. All right, so all right, here we go. Metapod, interesting, uncommon. Charmeleon, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, the Boring Lapras, and then a Jinx. Alright, slow start for the ETB. Maybe this will give us a comparison from comparing all those Black Friday tins, uh, comparing it to the ETBs. I don't think I've opened enough ETBs to be convinced that there have been multiple, like, kind of like printing waves of them or distribution waves. I'm not sure what to call it. Clefairy, Eevee, ooh, Giovanni's Exile, one of the two rocket supporters. Great art right there. And then, ooh, Shiny Ralts. Not bad. We will take that. Ralts is one of my. It's up there as far as the non Chinese go, or non GX Chinese. Or else is up there as the ones that I like. Alright, so a non non shiny vault full art supporter. It's probably a better way to describe that. One of the rocket supporters, let's go with that. And a non GX shiny. Not bad. Magic Carp. Star you. Erica's hospitality. And then a Caterpie. Hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you take a quick second to hit that like button down below and subscribe. Consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already. So you do uh, get or bell for notifications for whenever we drop videos. Coughing, Ekans, Jesse and James. And then, wow, I feel like we pulled so many reverse gravelers. I always kind of find it interesting because like he has 
two sets of arms. I believe one of them doesn't exist when he turns into gold. And Geodude, one set. Slowpoke, Clefairy, Jiggly or Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Bill's Analysis, and then the reverse version of Giovanni. Compared to like Machop, then Machoke, and then all of a sudden two two sets of arms for Machamp. The Geodude evolutionary line is a uh, kind of a different order. All right, so far I would say the ETB is not great. Scyther, Charmeleon, Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, a Clefairy, Slowpoke, okay, a Gyarados. One thing about the Gyarados is, I feel like the arts, I don't know, they don't, they're not very different. Actually, I guess the right, very similar to the Raichu actually. And then, okay, another shiny in Pheromosa. And oh, this is the, kind of like the, it is not super textured, but you can kind of see it's not like just like that super glossy print. And it's slight, a slight bit of texturing on the bottom half, which is cool. All right, that was a good pack. Two shinies, no shiny GXs. So I feel like in my experience, the that wave of target tins from Black Friday, I feel like they seem to have pretty good on the shiny GX side compared to ETBs and like pin collections. I remember way back when, during the pin collections, uh, how long it took us to pull a shiny GX. Oh my gosh. All right. So we got a full art supporter, which is great. There are still some we don't have, and I believe this is hiker number three. <laughs> so good pulls, just a lot of dupes. But uh, as far as this ETB goes, it's getting pretty good. All right, so let's see. This is four, four. So two left for the ETB. Got Charizard pack art. Anytime you pull a full art supporter is a win. I could just, I would greatly appreciate a little bit more variety. Same thing on the gold slots. It's like good RNG, but also unfortunate RNG. <laughs> Caterpie, Paris, Snorlax. He looks, Snorlax just, you know, doesn't matter where he's sleeping. He's always sleeping on the ground. He just always looks so comfortable. All right, last pack for this ETB. Uh, after that full art supporter, I would consider this a successful ETB opening. But uh, so far, we have yet to check any new cards off for our master set. Last pack for the ETB. Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Vaporeon. Always need to pull Vaporeon. Actually, you don't, you don't need to, but you always do. All right, moving on to tin number one from, or Gyarados tin number one. Ooh, hope I didn't damage any cards. All right, Misty, Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, Psyduck, Always got to pull Vaporeon and Weezing. On to a Legendary Birds tin or pack. All right, come on. You heard me say it early. These uh, these tins are good on the shiny GX front, so let's see one. Don't make me a liar all of a sudden. Sabrina, Misty, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans. And then the Mew. All right, reverse energy. We'll take it. So far, just a reverse energy, I believe. 
That's not going to do it. Forearmed Graveler. Pikachu. Cubone Jigglypuff. Eevee. Ooh, full art birds. Nice. This, uh, that's number one for the arts for the birds. This is number two. Ooh, Frogadier. Oh, and then, okay. I'm trying to think like, oh, do I need Frogadier? Unfortunately, we do have this one already, but this is a awesome pack. Uh, full art birds as well as a for Frogadier, and there is that super gloss print again. Uh, let me see if I can see it. Sometimes I feel like the... The edges are kind of strange too on this most recent printing. It's kind of hard to know. You kind of need the, like the perfect angle. But it's almost like the edges are slightly not bent forward, but it's like when the card was cut. You could. I don't know how to describe it. Interesting that the rare slot is upside down. Alright, Brock and Misty, Nurse Joy, Clefairy, Coughing, Voltorb, Cubone, Bill's Analysis is our rare, and then we have, oh nice, alright, our last two openings, and we checked off two boxes for our master set, and this card looks good, a little off center, but uh, yeah, what I was trying to say, I don't really know how to... I feel like sometimes at the right angle you can kind of see it, but basically if you kind of go like this, you can feel the edges as if it's like uh, like where it was cut is just slightly up a little bit. And there we go. That is a shiny GX that we needed. And like I said, guys, the, the, the tins in the most recent wave from Target are pretty good on shiny GXs. And we pulled one of the ones we need, so now we're back down to two non-GX Shinies, eight GX Shinies. Well, we're, we're moving along. I was not going to say we're, we're, we're definitely going to get there. This is very difficult. But uh, we're, we are improving. We're getting closer. Oh, I see something. Cubone. Mewtwo in our rare slots and oh gosh this is a good 10 Guzma so strong man what are the chances they're gonna reprint Guzma um, he is so powerful one of like the I feel like almost always maybe 80% of the time supporters are just for card draw but every once in a while there are just ones that are so strong and Guzma got to be close to the top of the list as strongest supporters. Switch your opponent's bench Pokemon to whatever one you want. Switch your own. Wow, really good tin. Um, once again, a a dupe of a full art supporter. I'm okay with that one. And that is such a cool art too. It's boy Guzma. All right, on to tin number two. This is a very successful opening at this point. You know, I was stoked about the Greninja, and then you add a Guzma to that. All right, do me a favor, hit that like button, because this is going great. On to our final tin. We have Arbuck, and ooh, okay. Now the Guzzlords are coming. And let's see, yep, same thing, same thing again, although I can't, oh, wait, maybe, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but the, this line, like right here, I'm not sure if you can really see that, but yeah, the edges are just kind of weird. And that Guzzlord was, until very recently, one of these non-GX shinies that we needed, so actually, if we open these, uh, if we did it slightly out of order, this one would have been absolutely amazing. <laughs> but unfortunately, that Guzzlord is a dupe now, but only very recently became a dupe. Still a very good opening. Eevee foil. Oh my gosh. This is such a good opening. Espeon shiny. One of the cooler shinies, I think. That kind of like light green. Very nice. The evolution that we are looking for the most is Leafeon. 
as we are locking that one. Pulled a good amount of most of the other ones. I feel like we did pretty good on... At one point we were getting consecutive... Not consecutive, but we were getting a good amount of Glaceons. Espeon we have at least two of. And Umbreon we've pulled two of. Shout out to you, Pokemon Lover95. We, we did send one of those to you. Hope you're doing well. And all right, this is our last pack for an insane opening. We'll actually do a recap after this because I'm so happy with the results. Star U Electrode is our rare. We don't need anything else, but you know what? Here we go. Boom. Oh, Shiny Celesteela to wrap it up. Amazing opening. Can you see that right edge? It's unclear if it's coming on the camera. But, alright, so we opened 18 packs, so if we wanted 50% hit ratio, we would need 9 hits. And here is our stack of hits. Celesteel for number 1, Espeon GX Shiny for number 2, Guzzlord Shiny for number 3, Guzma for number 4, Full Art Supporter Awesome Mewtwo, Greninja, this is the one that we needed, Frogadier to turn into that Greninja. I lost count. Six, seven, eight, eh, nine. That's that 50%. 10, 11, 12, 13. We'll consider these two combined as 14. So that was an amazing opening. Wow, almost a hit in every single pack. And yeah, we've seen those promos a lot. Actually, you've probably seen this promo a lot as well, but this thing just looks so amazing. Stained Glass Birds. Uh, so that's it for today. Wow, what a great opening. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.